everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this rustic farmhouse washcloth. This is a an easy project to work. It's one that's great if you're working during those warmer summer months or if you just need a quick project uh, for yourself or a gift for a friend or family member. So here is the washcloth. It is the same on both sides, features this beautiful texture. Again, it's really easy to work. For the project, you're going to need about 80 yards of your favorite worsted or medium weight cotton. Today I'm going to be working with the spice color of the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. I recommend a 100% cotton for your washcloths. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and a copy of the free written pattern, which is on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. There are direct links to all of these things in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There's lots of uh, free crochet patterns here and stitch tutorials. And this channel is updated weekly, so keep checking back. One final note before we begin. This washcloth measures approximately 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches. Our pattern today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by working a slip knot. And then by making a foundation chain, and your foundation chain will need to be a total of 26 chains. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, we're going to chain three and turn, and you'll have a total of 25 stitches. At the end of your row one, you've chained three and turned your work. For row two, we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. This chain three also counts as a double crochet, so into that next stitch, work a double crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across, chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Continue all the way across until you come to your final two stitches and you'll work one double crochet into each of the final two stitches. At the end of row two, you have your two double crochet stitches, chain one, and turn your work. For row three, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into this first stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and work a long double crochet working over that chain one space and into the skip stitch down below. So you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front, insert it into the top of the single crochet, that's two rows below, yarn over and drop a loop to the height of your double crochet. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to chain one and repeat. Skip the next stitch and into the next skipped single crochet, work a long double crochet working over top of the chain one space. Chain one and repeat. You're going to repeat this all the way across where you will finish off with a chain one and a half double crochet into that final stitch.
Once you've worked your half double crochet in your final stitch and it is the top of the starting chain three, you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row four, half double crochet into this first stitch and then work a long double crochet over top of the next chain one space and into the top of the double crochet down below. Chain one, skip the next stitch and work a long double crochet over top of the chain one space and into the top of the stitch down below. You're going to repeat that all the way across where you will end with a half double crochet into your final stitch. At the end of your row four, half double crochet into that final stitch. Now we are going to repeat rows three and four for a total of 15 more rows. So rows five, through to 19, chain one, turn your work, repeat row three, which was your half double crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch and long double crochet, and then repeat that row four, which was the row that we just completed. So repeat rows three and four uh, for a total of 15 more rows, and uh, you'll end on a row three and then meet me back here. At the end of row 19, you will have finished off on a row three, repeat, chain one, and turn your work. Turn your work. For row 20, for the next row, we're going to work one final row to kind of close off the top before we work our edging. So we're going to half double crochet into this first stitch, followed by a long double crochet into the next stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the top of the next stitch and repeat. Long double crochet into the next, followed by a half double crochet into the next. Repeat this all the way across, finishing off with that half double crochet in the top of your final stitch. At the end of your row 20, you can then fasten off and weave in your ends if you would like. Or you can do what I'm going to do and I'm going to just chain one and turn my work. We're now going to work a simple edging around our farm, rustic farmhouse washcloth. We're going to start by joining our yarn in the top right corner. And you're going to single crochet into each stitch across the top. So just single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across the top of your washcloth until you reach the corner stitch. All the way across. When you come across to that corner stitch, into that corner you're going to work three single crochets. So there's one, 
two into the same corner stitch and three, which will cause you to turn your washcloth and work around the uh, rough edge. I'm just going to unravel my yarn over here. There we go. So once you come across to this rough edge, you're then going to work 25 single crochet stitches evenly along this rough edge. So as I'm working, I'm not uh, too concerned about where I'm placing my hook. I'm just placing it where it is comfortable and just working all the way across. If it helps, you may wish to place a stitch marker halfway across the rough edge and work half your stitches on one side, half on the other. Uh, it's really up to you, but you want to have a total of 25 all the way across. Once you have 25 stitches all the way across into your next corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochets. And that's going to bring you around to what was the bottom of your washcloth. You're then going to work one single crochet into each stitch along the bottom. When you come to your next corner, work three stitches into that corner stitch. Then just as you did on the other side of your washcloth, you're going to work 25 stitches evenly along the rough edge until you come back to your first corner stitch. So go ahead, single crochet across, three in the corner, and 25 up your side. Once you come along 25 single crochets in that rough edge, you'll come to your corner stitch. Into your final corner stitch, you're simply going to work two single crochet stitches. Join with a slip stitch into that first stitch and then fasten off. You'll then weave in any ends like so. And then your rustic farmhouse washcloth is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe. I can't wait to see your finished projects. So don't forget to tag me, Rich Textures on Crochet, across social media. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.